boys and girls, we're going to be working on three pages, 110, we're skipping this part, and 113 and 114. So 110, 13, and 14, and this is in our reader's notebook, grade one. All right, so let's go ahead and get our, our blends taken care of. So this is a crib, and so which of those two blends, CR or GR, would you expect would make the cur sound in crib, crib, and I'm going to make this bigger for you. Did you say CR? Okay. We just have to write the word crib now. So cur, that's C-R, cur, i, 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 that's an I. Crib, b, crib. So what blend would you expect flag to begin with? Flag, fl, this one. This has an L in it making the old sound. Full ag flag. I think I'm going to choose a different marker. That one was just not flowing very well. Okay, this is a slot in the mailbox. Slot. Which of these two blends would you expect the word slot to begin with? Sl sl this one, slot, slot, slot. Okay, here's a drop, d, d, drop. Hey, it said blends with L, but this is an R blend. So if the factory got it wrong, they did not put the correct title, blends with L, and R. There. Drop. Dr. Okay, this is a B. So th we don't say brop. This is a D. It's a doorknob and a door. Drop. Circle. Drop. Dr. Up. Up. Drop. Drop. Okay. Now we have a grill. G. G. Yeah, obviously it's this one because D says D. It's not a drill, it's a g grill. Circle the GR and write grill. And just so you know, there's actually two L's at the end of the word grill. It's one of those double final consonants. Grill. And finally, we have the word block. Block, b, b, not that one, b, yeah, that one, bl, bl. It's going to begin with a b, l. That's how you begin that one, bl, a, k. And then just to tell you a secret, it ends with a c, k, another double final consonant. That, you know, it just makes one sound, k but it's made with two letters that make that sound. All right, now we're flipping from page 110 straight to our spelling practice page. And we have these words that we're going to read real fast, and then we're going to spell them. Okay, this says not Remember, they all have an O in them, all of them this week. Not, an O says ah, right? On, p op, pop, f ox, fox, h op, hop. And then we have our two uh, challenge words. 
block and whoops well looks like clock got out of order clock and block clock and block are two challenge words and then this one that we have to write is g ot got I think you're going to do very well on this spelling test and I'll be so excited if you get these two correct. That'll be extra credit. Okay, so let's go ahead let's go ahead and put an O in all of our spelling words on this page. Just go straight down the list because every single one of them is missing the O and then we're going to read the word with the ah sound in the word. Okay, so this one says fox and we're going to write fox. This one says n ought, not, n-ot, not. Now we're going to spell pop. P. It's made with a P. Ah. P. Pop. Hop. <sighs> ah. P. Hop. On. 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 And got. Got g ot got. Okay, so let's read them one more time and we'll go on to our next page. Fox not pop hop on got. Okay, here's our last page. This is about writing statements and remember statements tell us something and they end with a period. They also begin with a capital letter. So I'm going to give you some examples and non-examples. So here I, I, I gotta make this go back out a little bit. Okay we'll take this off for a second. So this one says not statements. That means they do not end with a period. They do not tell something. They do not begin with a capital letter. Okay, and this one says statements. So we're going to sort these. And you may not know how to read, but you think if it's a statement, that means it, it's telling us something, has a, a noun and a verb in it, and it's telling us something, ends with a period. Or if it doesn't, it's not a statement. So. Her music is, you know, they never finished that. It's not a statement. Ben and Ted, no, it never said what they did. So I'm going to put it under not a statement. Freddie claps for us. It is a statement ends with a period, number one. Number two, it has a noun and an action part. It tells us who and what they did. Freddie claps for us. Oh, let me put this over here. The drums didn't say what they did. I'm going to put that over here. It's not a statement. The very best singer, they never finished. If they would have said the very best singer won the contest, or the very best singer sang, sang with all her heart, um, it would have been a statement, but no, no period. And it doesn't make us, it doesn't say anything. I made a drum. Statement or not statement? I made a drum. 
It's a statement. It, had, it followed all the rules. It said who it was, that's I, and what they did. Made a drum, started with a capital letter, ended with a period. It's a statement. He plays a guitar. Is that a statement or not a statement? He plays a guitar. It's a statement. He, that's who it is, and what did he do? Plays a guitar. Plus it had a period, a period, a period. Now if it would have had an exclamation mark or question, it would not have been a statement. Dance with, hey, they never ended with the period. And it didn't even say anything. It just said dance with. It didn't e it makes no sense. It's not saying something. So I'm going to put it over here with the, no the not statements. She likes to sing. It's a statement because she, that's who it is, likes to sing is what she does. It ends with a period. Starts with a capital letter. It followed all the rules. We like to listen to music. It has a period. Let's see. Does it make sense? We like to listen to music. Yes, it makes sense because it said who it was and what they did. Okay, boys and girls, so there's a lesson on statements versus not statements. So now we're back to our page. You're going to be so good at this. We just have to circle the capital letter that begins each statement and the period that ends it. And that's going to go quick. Let me just make it super big for you. Whoopsie. Okay, here we are. So we're going to circle the capital letter that begins each statement. And we're going to circle the period at the end. So that's a statement, this is a statement, this is a statement, this is a statement. Just remember when you're writing sentences that are statements, they all begin with capital letters and end with periods. Now it says, write each statement correctly. So they give us two wrong statements. They're supposed to start with capital letters, they're supposed to end with periods, but they didn't, so we have to put the capital letter. So Right here, we're going to put a capital T, and then we're going to put a period at the end. Tess has a drum set, so we're going to write that. Tess, finger space, and then you write the word has, finger space, and you're going to write the word a, finger space, and you're going to write the word drum. finger space and you have to write the word set. And don't forget to stop the statement with a period. Tess has a drum set. Now it's a correct statement. It begins with a capital letter. It ends with a period. Okay, let's do, she plays it a lot. They're talking about Tess who has a drum set. She plays it a lot. What's wrong with that sentence? I mean, that statement. They didn't begin with a capital letter and they didn't end with a period. So let's correct it and then let's write it. She, we have to start with a capital letter. She, finger space, plays. Finger space, it, finger space, a, finger space, whoops, I'm running out of room there, lot. That tells something, she plays it a lot. So that's who, she, and then this is what she does, plays it a lot, starts with the capital letter, ends with the period. We corrected that statement. Okay, boys and girls, I believe we're done. All right. 
Toodaloo.